Joe Jocelyn's been waiting for a decision from Veterans Affairs about his claim for a handicap accessible van for about 11 months. About five months into this process, they said, hey, you know, you, your claim's still young, you, you know, don't get in a hurry, be prepared to wait a, a year or better. That's what veterans advocates told him, that it just takes time, and he began to wonder why. I understand due diligence, and I'm, and I'm, I'm glad that, you know, that's the case, although I don't believe that 8,000 veterans from the state of Arkansas should, should be sitting there waiting for somebody to process their claim for a year or more. Little Rock VA Regional Office Director Cheryl Rawls declined an on-camera interview, but she spoke to us by phone, saying the average time it takes for a claim in her office, 204 days or about seven months. We do have some veterans that are in um, uh, special categories um, that we try to take care of them quickly. Um, and then we have veterans um, that um, will fit that normal claim process. In Arkansas, around 8,000 claims are in inventory. Of those, 40% are backlogged, taking over three months to process the national goal set by the Department of Veterans Affairs. It's continuing to become um, a, an evident that we have to a, look at how we are um, processing our claims to keep up with everything that's coming in the door. As of January, the department has nearly 900,000 pending claims nationwide, up 100,000 from last year, half a million from three years ago. And since 2000, the Accountability Office of the federal government has pointed out problems and inefficiencies in the claims process, including the VA is overloaded with cases and understaffed, an issue Director Rawls wouldn't directly address. The number of employees that we have, they're well trained and are working through uh, that mission. We are working through it, Marcy. According to Rawls, it's about rules and regulations of due process, providing windows of time for evidence to be collected and reviewed. We don't have a system with uh, zero defects in it, but we strive to ensure that we can meet every veteran's um, need. And if after all that time your claim's denied and you want to challenge it, you've got to be ready to spend years in a bureaucratic battle. It's a journey Viola Jones knows all too well. They denied me everything. She's been fighting for survivor benefits following her husband's death for the past six years. They don't really give any answer, just that it's not service connected because he shot himself. According to medical records, Jeffrey Jones tried to commit suicide because of chronic depression and migraines linked to Agent Orange. And Viola says the VA wouldn't admit Jeffrey for treatment, citing a lack of bed space. They wouldn't treat him that day. They wouldn't take him in. Three weeks later, he shot and killed himself. The VA then denied Viola's claims to benefits, saying his death was caused by a gunshot wound, not a service-connected disease. She's now in her third round of appeals. I've cried, I've prayed, I've begged to the president, to all the representatives, to the governors. No lawyer will touch it. In a way, you're fighting the VA. Arkansas State Veterans Service. Arkansas Veterans Service Officer Dave McCown represents veterans in the appeals process, which he says shouldn't, but often does, pit vets against the government. Naturally, the VA is trying to um, make its decision be the right one. And while cases of veterans winning out in appeals is fairly common, he says it's a process that takes years to finish without any real answers of how to speed up the system for people like Viola Jones. I will not quit fighting until my breath is gone. And as sensational as that sounds, the truth is Viola may be forced to fight that long, with thousands of veterans dying each year before their claims are ever resolved. And without a major overhaul, that's the way it could remain.